Hi, in this Lightboard session, we're going to talk about automation options for the AnyPoint platform. Now, when you are producing code, MuleSoft has an approach where we don't want this to be something completely foreign to your developers. So the typical development practice of using development IDEs, so in this case, Studio, is the place that you write your code, and then you find an appropriate plugin that will talk to a source control system that you use. So use whatever you're used to. And as far as the, the process, you deal with whatever merges are required. So if you've got another developer doing stuff on their IDE, then somehow, whether you're using Git or Subversion or whatever, you'll somehow make changes to your source base, merge them into some sort of source control. OK, now from that point, we then start to look at how we're going to automate this stuff. Now, just like Studio uses Maven to build and deploy locally, so as part of your Studio, you've got an embedded Mule runtime that allows you to do local testing, which is a very natural sort of testing environment for developers, then we have the ability to use Maven as the way to produce the archive, run unit tests. So if you've produced M unit tests in Studio, those are committed as part of your source control with the project, so right there where it needs to be. And Maven, in addition to building the archive, it can run the unit tests and generate code coverage. So if you need to have a minimum standard of code coverage before you'll pass a build, then that can be done with the Maven plugin. So the Mule Maven plugin is a key technology in your source control SDLC process. Now, you'll hopefully have some sort of tool that can orchestrate this stuff. So orchestrating the calls to Maven, orchestrating the, the pulling out of the source control assets so that you can start to do the later stages, which is the deployment to your actual Mule runtimes. So you'll need some sort of build and orchestration tool. So your CI CD server, continuous integration, continuous deployment. So these, these tools, they run agents which have Maven capabilities to then build, run the tests, and then you've got a couple of options from there. Now, some CI CD servers have a built-in repository. Uh, others might need to go to something separate. So the role of the repo is for the built asset, so the binaries. So Maven produces that binary. So if we look at our, if we look at what Maven produces, you'll have a .jar or a .zip, depending on which version of Mule. And it will be producing that, and that needs a home. So a lot of people like to have a snapshot of everything that they've built, so that if they need to get back to an older version or to you know, push that into the servers again, they've got a home for it. So you can do that via a rep repository. Now, so the other part about Maven is running the mUnit tests plus coverage. So that would probably be before you, before you go any further. You need to make sure you run your tests, build the artifact, put it into your repository. And that's where Maven can also be used. It's one of the automation options to do actual deployments. So if you've got your app, your control plane, so if we think about the AnyPoint platform, so this is the management interface. So there are REST APIs that are exposed by this. So that's one option for doing a deploy. But Maven can call those REST APIs. And there's also another option, which is the CLI. So you've got options for doing the deploy. So you could use Maven. You could use the CLI. And you could also use the REST APIs directly. OK, now once you've got that deploy request sent out, that's where, depending on where the runtime plane is going to live, so if you've got, maybe you're deploying to Cloud Hub. So if you're deploying to Cloud Hub, that's one of the runtime plane options. You could be going to Runtime Fabric, 
or you could be going to a customer hosted mule runtime. So Okay, but the control plane is responsible for doing that orchestration. So the requests to do a deploy to whatever the runtime plane and whatever environment. So you'd have dev, test, prod, whatever your names are. That can all be managed through the control plane. And that gives you some of the options for automation and deployment of your SDLC process. Maven as a plugin, command line interface, REST APIs, but using normal source control as per your other applications to deploy to wherever the end result needs to go to.